Good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good, Good evening, evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? <clears throat> You're Good always teacher. on time. <laughs> That's great. That's great. That's fantastic. How are you, uh, Julio? I'm fine. Okay, great. Fantastic. Uh, Jenny, how are you? Oscar? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so thank you, Jenny Carolina. Oscar, I just see a light, a dark something. I'm here. Ah, okay. I'm right. Yeah, I don't right. see you. Okay. Nice to see you, Jenny. Wendy, how are you? Hey, guys, were you able to download the documents? And the audios? Hello. Were you able to download the 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 document, the word uh, the word document? I can download uh, the document because my cell phone no oh, okay. Don't have. I see. Okay. And uh, I send you the audios and the document also. Okay. Uh, because we need to. Actually, okay, but you have your uh your um you have your document, the one that I it was it, it was given to you, right, by the company, right? I hope that everybody can have the, the document. Well, uh no, Jenny said. Okay, so okay, because I need you to work on that one and uh, we'll send you to breakout rooms and I need you to work on that one as well. Okay. Uh, Giovanni, were you able to download the document? Hello, good evening, Mr. Good Lopez. Uh, yeah, actually, already I'm downloading the document. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, please write in the chat who downloaded. Um, uh, uh, Rajes, I did it. Uh, uh, the videos, the, I mean, the audios and the, and the document, please write in the chat. If you had the document, because that's the only way. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, uh, uh, Joselino. How are you? I'm fine. Yes, good to see. What document? The one that I sent in WhatsApp. <laughs> I sent it an hour ago. <laughs> I sent it in WhatsApp. And plus two audios. Uh, maybe I can the the group was up. Oh, you, you you don't have it. Oh, no. Okay. 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 Can right. I share? Can, can I share my number in the chat? Right. Uh, no, that will be that will be the that will be with the company that they uh add you over there because I don't know how to do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because they did the the group. They did the group. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to know uh, how many uh, how many of you have the the documents and and the audios because you're going to need uh, um in the group to work with it. Can I say uh, Paola Iglesias? Okay, let me let me see if I can uh, send it to you here. Audio. Oh, yeah. Teacher, how how many audios for uh for, for the 
for the assign for the assignment are how many oh. audios? Uh, there are there are two. Oh. All right. There are two audios. Uh. Ah. Okay, so yesterday we were working with uh, long light long. We're going just to review a little bit and then uh, we're, we're going to work on that one. So <clears throat> let me just share it over here. And now I got the right uh, uh, the right audios guys. So we're, we're going to be able to listen to uh, the, the audios. Okay, remember that we are on lesson on lesson uh, on lesson eight, uh, which is uh, which is um, which is long lifelong learning. We, yesterday we discussed a little bit about this one, so we're not just going to discuss it. Just reminding you that we're talking about learning choices, strategies for learning, personal quality uh, qualities. Okay, uh, the survey that we that we had over here. Um, we're just going to listen, which is the correct audio right now. And we're just going to listen and see the examples over there. Uh, what, uh, what, is, what are the objectives of this one? Let's make it kind of quickly. Well, not kind of quickly. What is the learning objective? Discuss a campus survey, see examples of rather and preferring context. Yeah, yesterday, uh, uh, do you remember how we use uh, rather and prefer? Uh, yesterday, we were over a little bit the grammar. When do we use rather and prefer? When we select one option. Ah, when we have an auction, yes. When we have an auction, we use rather and prefer. The connotation basically is the same one, but um, but uh, uh, a different. I mean, uh, the form is a little bit different. So let's listen to the to the to the thing over there to the statements and read. Unit 8, Lifelong Learning. Page 50, Exercise 2, Perspectives. Part A, Listen to a survey about adding courses to the curriculum. Campus survey. We are expanding the school curriculum next year. What kinds of classes should we add? Please take a moment to answer a few questions. One. Would you rather take a media class or a health class? A. I'd rather take a media class. B. I'd rather take a health class. C. I'd rather take another type of course than study media or health. 2A. If you chose media class, would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? A. 
I'd prefer to study film studies. B. I'd prefer to study broadcasting. C. I'd prefer not to study either. I'd prefer another media course. 2B. If you chose health class, would you rather learn exercise science or nutritional science? A. I'd rather learn exercise science. B. I'd rather learn nutritional science. C. I'd rather not learn either. I'd prefer another health course. 3. What other types of courses would you add to the curriculum? Okay, so number uh, so uh, I says we are expanding the school curriculum this year. What kind of sir, uh, classes which uh, should we add? Please take a moment to answer a, a few questions. Okay, I will I will uh, read the question and you read the choices. I will say A and everybody read it. Uh, uh, read it. Uh, without open the microphone okay but please do it it will be very important to do it from your house okay and help me with your cameras by the way also okay and let me change my glasses because <laughs> sorry um would you rather take a media class or a health class a everybody read it without opening microphones You say, I'd rather take a media class, okay? So please, uh, I I will be able to see your, 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 that you are talking. Okay, B. I'd rather take, I'd rather a, rather hill take a hill class. class. Okay, C. I'd rather, I'd rather take, take another, another type of class. Okay. okay. Uh, to B, if you choose media class, would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? I A, I prefer to study, study film studies. studies. A, B, I prefer, I prefer to study, study film studies. studies. Okay, C, I prefer, I prefer to, to study, 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 study I prefer another media course. Okay, and uh, let me to be and uh, to be if you chose a health class would you rather learn exercise science or nutritional science a i rather, rather learn, learn exercise, exercise science, science. Mm -hmm. b i rather, rather learn, learn nutritional science. science okay c I rather learn Okay, guys. So uh, you see some examples of ra uh, rather and prefer to over there. Um, <clears throat> I hope that you can, um, that you will be able to download the audios because uh, then you can practice. Okay, you can play it and you can make pause and then you can practice uh, repeating the sentences. Okay, so in context, rather than that we saw yesterday, uh, that we studied yesterday, so <clears throat> that we studied yesterday, uh, is, this is a kind of review. So pronunciation, what is the objective over there? Let's see, uh, let's see, uh, Ivan, Ibrahim, what is the learning goal, the learning objective? Ivan, are you are you there? Yes, teacher. Here I am. Uh, what is the learning the learning goal over there? The learning is in use rising and falling. Rising and falling intonation when you are asking questions, right? So good. Thank you very much. So intonation and questions. So look over there. Listen to the questions and then repeat. The first part, just listen. Okay. The first part, just listen. Uh, do not repeat. And then we're going to make a pause and you uh, repeat the words. Page 51. Exercise 3. Pronunciation. 
intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Do you prefer to study in the day or at night? Okay, were you able to listen? Yes. So look how they rise and the, the, the intonation uh, goes up and then at the end of each of the questions, it goes down. So raising intonation over there. So let me play and, uh, and I will make it a stop and you repeat, okay? Page 51. Uh, yes, Giovanni? Actually, just for double check, um, are we going to repeat a sentence with the Microsoft open or without the Microsoft open? Uh, no, you can open your, your microphones. You can open oh. your microphones, okay? Oh, wonderful, thank you. Yeah. Exercise three, pronunciation. Intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Everybody? Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Economics. Good, excellent. Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Yeah. Okay, the next one. Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Do you prefer to study in the day or at night? Do you prefer to study in the day or the night? Or night. Or night, good. Excellent. So that's, uh, what is the characteristic of these kind of questions? Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? What are the characteristic of these questions? That the questions are? Question of? I guess that they have, yeah, two options. Two options, questions and <laughs> options, yes. Options, yes. Uh, Giovanni, I will start with you. Let's suppose that, you're, uh, that we want to study something or we'll go back to the university to get a major. So would you rather take broadcasting or economics, Giovanni? Personally, I guess broadcasting. And I, why? I would prefer broadcasting. And why? Um, that's a good question. Um, I would prefer uh, broadcasting uh, rather than economics because I guess that that it's uh, that it's easier for me. I, uh -huh. I guess that it's um, I have some skills that match very well with broadcasting, and I'm not so well with uh, numbers, math, and in economics. Right? That's why okay. I, I guess that I prefer broadcasting. Okay, great. Thank you, Giovanni. What about you, Siomara? Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin if you could play any of those things? What would you like to pre uh, What would you prefer? I I like both, but um, I would prefer to play the guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, I and like. And what? And why is that, Xiomara? Repeat it, please. Say. And, and why would you like to play the guitar? Um, because I like the, the sound of the guitar. I like uh, the melodies from the guitar. Uh, uh, it's very beautiful. Ah, they are very beautiful. Do you, real, uh, do you really like music? I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, who knows? Uh, uh, everybody likes uh, music. Yeah, Jose Lino? Excuse me, teacher. See? Sí? Yes. My ignorance. No, no, that's all right. <laughs> what is the difference rather in prefer? Is similar or? It's similar. The connotation is the same one. And thank you for asking, Joselino. That's what I'm here for. 
it's similar. The connotation is, it's you're given an option, but uh, the connotation is the same. The only thing that rather, that I explain it in a moment, but I will do it right now briefly to you, is that we use the base form on the verb, but we don't use the infinitive. If you notice, if you notice, uh, you could use would, you can use could, you can use the simple form uh, like do, uh, do, for example. So, for example, here, would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Okay. And that's, that's, that's the same one. Or you can say, would you prefer to study fashion or hospitality? It will be exactly the same. There, uh, the connotation is the same one. And I will okay. say, uh huh. And, and, but we prefer we use the infinity too. Okay. Good. Thank, Thank you. you, Jose. I got it. Thank Jose, you. Jose Lino, yeah, that you are over here. Would you rather, let's suppose that you want to study something, like you would like to be a designer or something. Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? The question is me? Yes, for you. The question that is, is over there. Okay. Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Yes, you. But, what would you, you study? Okay. For example, if you, you just ask me, I will say, oh, I rather study fashion. Why? Because uh, people who design clothes, they make a lot of money. Okay. So you see, you see, would you giving me an option? And I say, oh, I rather prefer, uh, I rather study fashion. Why is that? You say, oh, because uh, people who design so uh, fashion, uh, the fashion is they make a lot of money. <laughs> Not as a teacher. <laughs> okay, yeah. the the words uh, fashion is um, moda, for example. Yes, exactly, oh, okay. exactly. Okay. Exactly. Uh, I it, prefer I prefer fashion. Uh, uh, possible, I make my my uh, clothes. Uh -huh. Yes, in my family is uh, okay. interesting for me. Okay, <laughs> good, excellent. Uh, Marlene Elizabeth, do you prefer to study in the day or at night? Mm. Nowadays at night, <laughs> in the why? day I was really, I am really busy. Oh, okay. And why? Mm -hmm. What about you, Mrs. Delgado? Uh, do you prefer to study in the day or at night? Miss, uh, I see Carla Rene. I prefer to study. In the day. In the day. Why is that? Because the mind is open. You just get up and are able to recognize and learn more about. Okay. It's more difficult. Ah, okay. Okay, guys. Uh, remember that we, uh, I'm sure you already know this one. Remember that we say in the day, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. But we say at nine, okay? Just remember that. Okay, so uh, let me see if I can send you to, I can send you to breakout rooms to discuss these questions. I hope, uh, I hope that you, uh, so now you have the document that you are able to do it. So, and when the person answers and say, yeah, so I ask, get, try to get more information and give, as much information you can, okay? Capiche? Yeah? Okay, the idea is to talk. Let me see if I can send you over there. Uh, on the breakout rooms, we are, uh, how many? 25, so that will be 12. Uh, oh, not 12, yes. Let me see in pairs. Um, yeah, we have 25. Mr. Lopez, I yes. think Joselino wants to say something. He has raised his hand. Uh, yes, Joselino. Sorry? Yes, you wanted to ask 
something? Ah, uh, sorry, I down my hand. <laughs> ah, oh, that's all right. Don't worry. Um, let's say Och. Okay. Uh, I will make a, a breakout rooms, and the group will be in three. So I will give you. Uh, you can go to any room. Uh, the that you like to go, okay? So, eh, okay, so permitir que los estudiantes en la sala, I will give you like, 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 let's say 10 minutes. I hope that is not too much. Teacher, but which part of the document or the word document uh, are, go, are uh, going to the, that the activity is over there? The activity is over there. I'm sure I put it. The only thing is that you don't have the audios. Teacher. Uh huh. Can you share uh, the sentence, please, again, the question? Yeah, I sent the document, but uh, you couldn't download it. It's on the chat. I want to uh, take a picture. <laughs> ah, ah, okay, okay, okay. I, I got it, I got it. Uh, I, I got it. Do you receive an invitation for the for the for the rooms? Not yet. Not yet. No. Nope. You... Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. But are they supposed to be open? Let me try again. Oh yeah, I am able to see that there is a button that says break up rooms. We yes. need to click over that and yes. we need to select uh, yes. one you of need, them. You need to select uh, the one of them. The I just made three, so it will I uh, mean A, so the groups will be in, in trios. That you okay. can ask each other. Please select the break up rooms. Whichever, right? Yeah. The, the okay, one that wonderful. You, you desire. Okay, thank you. Everybody, you do the same. So go to the breakout rooms. You have to choose every day uh, uh, there, right. You're going, so now you are going, but yes. Remember to discuss the questions as we did Okay, and get as more information you, you have. You just have like like 10 minutes or seven. Please unirse. Okay, thank you for the ones that get in. Don't be afraid to talk, guys. I have uh, one and two ready. Okay, we have three, four, five. Five is one student, so go with Sophia and number, uh, room number five. Teacher, I can. You can. Uh, you, you're on the cell phone, right? Yes. Oh, okay. I I want to stay in the group number one. Okay, try another. Maybe another will will work. Uh, ah, because number one already has or already have the participants. But uh, you can go, for example, uh, in room number uh, number five. 
try number five because it's only Sophia there. Uh -huh. Okay, Carla. Also, number six, uh, Jenny. Teacher, sure. how was supposed to have gone to, to see the, the room, the break of room? I don't see anything it, on the it, screen right it, now. It should be on your screen over there. I don't, I don't see anything. I mean, uh, uh, yesterday I, I saw uh, an invitation, but today... Okay, uh, if he, if he, if he, you're not able to go, uh, who's talking? Uh, who's talking? This is Oscar. Ah, Oscar, if he, you're not able to go, don't worry. I'll, I will assign the next one, okay? I just try to practice the question as, as yourself. Rosalino, are you able to go? Do you see it, Francisco? Here, teacher, oh, wait, uh, the group. Yes, uh-huh. Uh, pick up a group. Okay, no, not yet, group. Okay, uh, you're not able to see it? No. My, 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 my. I'll, I'll assign it then. Okay, let me see the other groups. Uh, the times I go, it, it will go very fast. So to see what are they doing, okay? I'll be back in a moment. Jorge Alberto, what about you? Are you able to see the, the breakout rooms? No, teacher. No. No. Okay, I have it still. Okay. Uh let me let me assign you, okay? Uh room number three. Breakout room number three. I will send you uh, I will send you, okay? Okay. Um, number six. Number seven. On my eight years old, I play violin uh, until uh, actually. Um, really, I prefer because it's better for me. <laughs> good, man. Good. Congratulations. And you, Carla? What question? Would you, prefer, would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Oh, I prefer to or play sing. guitar. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> I prefer to play guitar, but uh, the song on violin is nice. Is uh, the the song is uh, I use you can feel um, comfortable, and and I I don't feel I don't have a uh, feel emotion, but the song the violin but to play for me is guitar is is most easy maybe. Okay. Okay, so uh, everybody should be coming right now because the time is up. Yeah, they're, they are coming right now. Hello. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Giovanni. Hi, Oscar. Do you have a nice talk? Yeah, the ones that I saw, yes, I saw uh, three rooms, four rooms, and you were talking good, excellent, or two. I don't remember. <laughs> and you were talking a lot, good. So uh, the rest of the, uh, the participants are coming. Thank you very much. Um, also, it's very important that you turn the cameras on, okay? Especially when you're in small groups that you can see each other because the talking uh, becomes more uh, friendly. Okay, so please I, help me with that one. Okay, so uh, people are coming now, I don't know. Are you already close? I think so, Mr. Lopez. Yeah. Oh, it's seven, uh, three, two, one, zero. Everybody should be coming. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're coming. Okay, so let's continue with this one. Great talk. Okay, uh, we were discussing and we were taking uh, the things over there. Okay, so this one, this was uh, one of the audios that I sent you. Okay, for you to um, to listen and to check and to repeat the phrases as much as you would like. Okay, so remember, we we'll rather and we we'll prefer. Page fifty one, exercise four, grammar focus. Would rather and would prefer. Would rather takes the base form of the verb. Would prefer usually takes an infinitive. Both are followed by not in the negative. Would you rather take a media class or a health class? I'd rather take a media class. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take another course than study media or health. Would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? I'd prefer to study film. I'd prefer not to study either. Let's join a choir. I'd rather not join a choir. Choir. I'd rather not. I'd prefer not to join a choir. I'd prefer not to. Okay, so we already say a million times that uh, uh, would rather takes the base form, but not uh, uh, takes the base form, but uh, like I rather take a medicine class, I rather not take either. 
I rather take another course than study media help. And prefer we use the infinitive. Remember to study, to work, to play, to uh, go, to sleep, and everything. And both are, um, so we say in the negative, we say I'd rather not join. So not before uh, the, 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 the main verb. And I prefer not to before the infinitive. Um, this is the one that I send you in the document. You can see over there, for example, would rather plus not in the negative plus base form of the verb. I rather learn um, English than French, for example. I rather not study uh, anything at the moment, okay? So we'll prefer plus not plus infinity. Remember to, I prefer to learn English. I prefer not to study Germany, for example. So this is in the, your document over there, whatever you do the exercises online, it will be very helpful to you. And uh, this is, so not everybody had the, the, um, the answers of this one. This is, this is in the document also. If you haven't, you can work over there. Uh, you will have like, we still have like 20 minutes. And for example, number one, what will be number one? And then I'll send you to break up rooms again because I want you to work in, 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 uh, in trios. I would choose, what will be number one? You prefer, of will course, you prefer I'm sorry, Julio. Uh, will you prefer uh, a study? Uh, will you prefer take a course? To take a uh -huh. the the verb the verb is take. take. Uh -huh. Will you prefer to take a course? Will you prefer to take a course? Science yes. Or... Would you prefer to take a course uh, uh, of science or uh, what is it? And the other. And. Uh, uh, Exercise science or nutritional science? And what will be the uh, Francisco Antonio? Yes. Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay. I, pre uh, I prefer to register for a nutritional science course because it's more use useful for me in nursing. Yes. I prefer to register for a nutritional sciences because it's more useful for me in nursing register. Okay, so that's that's the 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 example that I, I'm giving you. And let me see if I can send you to um let me go back over there. I will send you to in peers again, okay? So you can uh, you can uh, work and do the exercises. Everybody has the, uh, uh, do you have the document or something, Hector? Not teacher, I don't know, I don't have. And not, not either the one that it was given by the company? Sorry teacher, can you repeat? N not even the, the manual? that you were given platform. by the company? In the platform, it is in the manual. Yeah, the platform uh, in the platform is the manual. You can see it over there. The only thing I'm doing okay. is making it uh, that you can work on it, okay? Or, or you can print it. Even the manual, you, you can print it as well. Print it by unit or if it is possible. Okay, uh, let me send you to and uh, to send you over there and and work, please. Uh, oops. Uh, let's see. I don't know what what am I doing. So please uh, work on the. Oh. 
Okay, uh, work on the manual over there, please. Or do the exercises, let me show it to you. Okay, do number three, number two, and number three. Number two is, would you rather learn English in Australia or Canada? Mm -hmm. And B, I think I prefer to study in Australia because it's warmer there. Yeah, that will be. The third one is if you needed to learn a new skill. And would you prefer to have a class? Or mm. Mm. I don't know. You prefer to attend. Uh -huh. You prefer attend to attend a class or have a private tutor. A private tutor. Tutor. I'd rather. Remember that when we use prefer, you can we can use the auxiliary do, okay? Do you prefer uh, a class? Ah, no, 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 no. Do you prefer to <laughs> attend a class or um or to have a, a private tutor? You can use would. You can use could, you can use do, but remember that uh, do and could is not that polite. If we use could, would, it, the question will become more polite. Okay, but in this case, it can be would? I'd rather, no, I would, or oh, I'd rather sing up for a class. I'd rather and sing for a class than? Than hire a tutor. A tutor. Tutors are too expensive. Uh, yeah, private tutors are too expensive. Yes. Of course, one of the characteristics of the language English is that uh, we want to sound very polite in everything that we said very, very well. Okay. So that's that's why the, the match we it's important that we always use depending on the topic or the thing that we're asking, the two magic words. What are the two magic words? What are the two magic words? Please. Na please and thanks. And thank you. Okay, yeah. This it doesn't apply over here, but I'm just mentioning that um that's why we are using wool here because we we need to sound um, very polite. So that's the 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 sentences that uh, 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 it was that we were using. So would you rather learn English in Australia or Canada? I think I'll prefer to study in Australia because it's warmer there. If you needed to learn a new skills. Uh, would you prefer to attend or to have a private tutor? And the last one that she said is this one. Okay. We have two more exercises over there. I, I'll, I need you to, to get the documents over there. So there are uh, two more activities over there, two exercises, but I think I think you're on the right path. I can hear some whisper kids over there. 
Would you rather uh, to join Fire. 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 Uh, and acquire? Acquire. Acquire. Yeah, acquire. <laughs> Or an orchestra. Or an orchestra. What is the pronunciation, teacher? Or orchestra. Or orchestra. 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 <laughs> Don't worry with uh um that's why I I I do not agree with uh, pronunciation tests that um I'm, that sometimes uh teachers do because if if I can uh, fail one of those, it's me. <laughs> so what will be? Uh, would, oops. Ah. Hey, teacher. Would uh, you? Yes. Uh, uh, a little question. Uh -huh, yes, uh, Eduardo. Uh, some of the sentences are in the platform. And in one, in the number three of the first exercise, mm -hmm. I write uh, to have. And the platform say that it's wrong. It's only half. Uh, I, because you were using rather over there and not preferred. That's why maybe the platform says that it was wrong. And yeah. th uh, it, what, what will say, what will you use in rather or prefer? Use. If you, uh-huh. And uh, the, the the sentence is the the sentence say says say this. If you need to learn a new skill, will you prefer to attend a class or a space a private tutor? Ah, I, I prefer to attend. Uh huh. That was the sentence because you were yeah. using you were using preferred and um, and, and not rather. Remember, it's, it's only. Is only half, or we need to to have? No, to have. I prefer to have. Okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You know, sure. it it would be a good exercise for you guys to start saying sentences your own self. Um, I rather eat Mexican food than Indian food. I prefer to play the guitar, like uh, someone said, than the violin. Okay. Or just, I prefer to play the guitar. I rather play the guitar. So make those kind of exercises in, a, in an order way, um, and you will get familiar. Your brain will get it as part of it, okay? So, and that will be easier for you to uh, do it. So that's why we say, uh, 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 would you rather join? And instead, we cannot use two over here. Will you rather join a choir or an orchestra? And I said, I will. And remember that this little, this uh, contract, this is the contracted form, I will or I would. Okay. Um, I rather sing in a choir than. A play. In our, okay, yes. To sing or solo sing? Uh, uh, no, sing. Because you're using rather. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I rather sing. I prefer to sing. You see? I rather sing in a choir. I prefer to sing in a choir. If, for example, the, 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 the last one. Would you prefer what to major in to major in i i miss uh, this this is wrong why is it wrong two two oh. i didn't use two so that's wrong so would you say would you prefer two major in a broadcaster or in a field study so and the last one it says uh, to tell you the truth, I prefer not, not, not what? Not to do either. Not to, to do. do either. 
Some I people, uh, British people say either. <laughs> either. Okay, so, and uh, the last one it says, I rather. I'd rather work for a newspaper. I'd rather uh -huh, work for a newspaper. And that was it. So, um, let me let me correct the one that is a mistake over there for you to for you to uh, uh, for we oh, to see it in a correct way. So it says, "I pre would you prefer to would you prefer to?" Uh, but a small letter. Ah, another very important thing. Remember that I mentioned that uh, every time that you work in the and the platform, if you don't use capital letters or uppercase letters at the beginning of the sentence or after a period, you will get it wrong. All platforms work like that. They check your spelling, the correct spelling or the correct uh, way that you read, uh, write the sentences over there. So. Question. Uh, yes. Question, for example, in, in, in this one, in the B, option B, I rather sing in a choir than can can we use can we say than playing in an orchestra? Does than, it make sense? Than is, playing, is it correct? Than huh? playing? No. Huh? It no. doesn't it doesn't take the ING form. So oh. it, it, yeah, it doesn't make sense because it doesn't make uh, take the ING form. So uh, it's All um right. We would rather, and and uh, and uh, I prefer to. It it goes only the base form of the verb. Even though you use it rather without the infinitive, join, study, sing, work, uh, what run, cry, sleep. So or to work, to join, to play, uh, to major, to work. But every time that you're using prefer to. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the that's the thing over there. Uh, if you have any questions, please. Uh, uh, we have uh, still a couple of minutes. Uh, let me see at uh, what time do you? Yes, three more minutes, four more, five more minutes. Okay. Any other questions? Everybody understands. Teacher. This? Yes. Uh, Teacher, echo, I echo. have a question. Sorry. Yes. Uh, I I I guess that if we use rather and we have two bear uh, the the boats we use a uh, without infinity no every time that we use but uh, not with rather it's uh, i don't recall any example like that but in a sentence uh, in a common sentence with the simple uh, simple present tense if you have uh, Two, uh, two verbs in a sentence, and then you have to use uh, two before the second one. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. You get it. Yes. Teacher. Uh, for Thank example, you. yes. Uh, yeah, I guess that Hector uh, was trying to say that um, in a sentence, we have two verbs, but it's not, uh, he was not saying that are beside them. Probably we have two Two actions that we want to describe and we're using rather. That's yeah. why they, it's not with with the preposition to. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Now that's that's what I just said that I don't recall any example or any sentence like this, but I if, if there is one, if you had two verse, you had to use uh two before the second one. That's oh yeah, but it's only if they're together, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, wonderful, uh, thank you. Uh, uh let me let me see the attendance. Okay, uh, please remember, say um, present. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ana Ivania. Ana Ivania Guevara. Eh, Daniel Alejandro Llanes. Daniel Alejandro. Eh, Edgar Fernando Portillo. Uh, 
Am I in the correct one? Yes. Eh, Edgar Fernando. Eduardo José Melgar. Present teacher. Okay, yes. Oh. Eh, Francisco Antonio. Present, mister. Eh, Gabriel José Hernández. Gabriel. Eh, Giovanni Stanley Flores. I'm here, present. Héctor Iván Pérez. Héctor Iván. Present, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Uh -huh, please. Eh, Iván Ibrahim Ramírez. Present teacher. Yeah, I saw you there. Uh, Janet Carolina Rivera. Janet. Carolina. Jorge Alberto Rivera. Present teacher. José Lino Alvarenga. Present teacher. Julio César. Present teacher. Carla Selena. Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, Carla René Delgado. Present teacher. Eh, Catherine Lisbeth Espinosa. Present teacher. Luis Eduardo Méndez. Present teacher. Eh, Marlene Elizabeth Valle. Present teacher. Eh, Melissa Estefana Linares. Present teacher. Michelle Beatriz Díaz. Present teacher. Eh, Net, Netalia Antonio Mejía Miranda. Present teacher. Eh, Oscar Alexander Santana. Oscar. Eh, Oscar Obdulio Amador. Present. Eh, Rebeca María Rosales. Rebeca María Rosales. Uh, Romeo Vladimir Rosales. Present. Uh, Sara Elisa Belloso. Present. Uh, Sofía Lisbeth Pérez Torres. Sofía. Uh, Wendy Paola López. Present, teacher. Uh, Xiomara Violeta Salazar. Present. And Jenny, Carolina. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. I hope that this topic is clear. Okay. Well, we always have questions, of course. So, but thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you tomorrow. Bye. 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 B